let's talk about Pipe Explorer. So whenever you go to the home screen, you can click on Ship and Receive, but Pipe, a search for Pipe is probably the most powerful piece in this system. Here you can manage your data. I can look for all of new customers inventory, right? Um, I can check for archived items, items that have been shipped that I want to find. Uh, I can look for senders and receivers. I can look for everything in status, by status. Right, so if I want to look for everything in storage, obviously I'm not going to have any. But if I look for received, I do. Okay, I can also drill down by category. Okay, um, and control number or by location. This is on fault yard. All right, um, so based on, on um, the way you're going to use the system, you have some different options here as well. If you mouse over the column headers, you can right click and you can turn on and off columns based on how you're going to use the system. Okay. I might want to see the date created so I don't have any aging pipe in the yard. Um, I might want to look at where it came from, right? Or I might want to see something specific like an inspection type or condition, okay? Um, there are a lot of options. Uh, the original joints received. and even internal sales orders and numbers that this might be associated. Okay, so a good way to think of it, master parts are the templates and job tallies are the actual inventory. So uh, anyway, in configuring, customizing your setup in Pipe Explorer, once you get the columns the way you want, now currently I'm not going to be working with tallies. So I'm actually going to turn those columns off, and I really don't even care about description. Um, and these I'm just going to scrunch up here. What I do care about is the stock category. Okay. Um, I also care about date created. Let's see where is it located? How much is there? And who owns it? Right. And so what all you have to do is click on the column, hold it down with your mouse, and drag and drop it. Okay, So you can customize this um, based on how you want to use the system, and every person can configure theirs different than anybody else in your company. Now if you, for some reason, want to or have to share a login, it's you're not going to want to change it. right? You're going to want to get it set and not change it. So if you want your a specific setup, definitely want your own login. I highly um, suggest you don't share those things, right? Because it's going to screw things up later. So um, that's basic configuration of that. Now our system is great because you can create a, a search and filter. You can see how many joints, right? And then you can also hit the button print and it's going to print a report based on what, you're, what you have showing. There we go. And it's the summary R8.1, so most basic report. Company name, the yard, part number, description. It's got the job number. This is going to be very important to you later. Rack, the status joint count and footage, and the date created. These are great reports for you or your customer. Okay, 